directional coupler experiment. So directional couplers are planned built-in waveguide assemblies. So which can measure a small amount of power for measurement purpose. So directional coupler can be unidirectional power or bidirectional power. So unidirectional power means it can measure only incident power. And bidirectional powers mean it can measure both incident power and reflected powers. So directional coupler is a four-four waveguide direction. So this is the directional coupler waveguide component. It is a four-four waveguide junction. It consists of a primary waveguides and this port one, port two, port three, and port four. This is port one. Port two, port three, and port four. So port one and port two are the primary waveguides. Port three and port four are the secondary auxiliary waveguides. So port this is the port one, port two, port three, and port four. So ideally, the input power is applied at port one will appear only at port two and port three. So no power at port four. Ideal. But real coupler some power at port four. Some power at port four. So this is port one, port one, port two, port three, and port four. So port one is also called as a input port or incident power. Port two is also called as a transmitted port or received power. Port three is also called as a forward coupled power, and port four is also called as a isolated power, isolated port or back power. Incident power, received power, forward coupled power, and back power. So the characteristics of the Directional coupler, sir. A portion of the power traveling from port one to port two is coupled to port three. A portion of the power traveling from port one to port two is coupled to port three, but not port four. So that is unidirectional case. The directional coupler is a unidirectional power or bidirectional power. So unidirectional power means. The portion of the power traveling from input port to output port is coupled to port three but not port four. That is incident power. And bidirectional, the portion of the power traveling from port two to port one is coupled to port two but not port three. So similarly, a portion of the power traveling from port three to Port three to port four is coupled to port one but not port two. Similarly, a portion of the power traveling from port four to port three is coupled to port two but not port one. So that is the brief introduction to the directional coupler. Okay, this is the directional coupler waveguide component. That is brief. So first, measure the square wave generator using reflex crystal. So before switch on the crystal power supply, how to set this beam up? Check on normal. This beam knob is fully set in anti-clockwise direction, and this rippler knob is fully set in clockwise direction. This meter selection is in current position, and modulation is in AM position. And this frequency knobs all are fully set in anti-clockwise direction. So this cooling fan is kept in front of the piston mount. And after that, switch on the power supply.
and switch on this pressure on power supply and after some time switch on hd mode and after that set the beam current 15 milli amperes the beam current don't cross 15 milli amperes and vary this beam knob clockwise direction slowly set the beam current 15 milli amperes okay next switch on the cro measure the square wave using piston power supply slightly increase this amplitude and frequency knobs and put in this rappler portion and slowly vary the rappler voltage in anti clockwise direction and observe the square wave in cro Okay, so this amplitude and frequency knob slightly increase, and set this is in rappler portion. Slowly increase the rappler knob in anti-clockwise direction. Observe the square wave in CRO. So first me measure the incident power without directional coupler. That is the directional coupler waveguide component. So first measure the. incident power without directional coupler and and after observing the square wave measure remove the cro probe connect the cro probe to vswr meter before switch on the vswr meter this is set in normal position and this input selection is in 200 ohms and pain and gain are fully set in anti clockwise direction or minimum position and after that switch on the vswr meter so measure the incident power without directional coupler no no directional coupler connect cheyaledu anta directional coupler connect cheyakunda input power entundo manu measure cheyal so using vswr meter and after that adjust this range in decibel slightly increase this pain and gain knobs slightly increase this amplitude so this is 20 so now here 0 1 2 3 4 five between 4 to 5 approximately 4.2 so this is in 20 plus 4.2 24.2 decibel adjust this gain knobs and fine knobs and uh, this is in 10 position so now here this is in uh, 
फाइव बिटवीन फाइव टू टेन इज ए सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन एंड अप्रॉक्सीमेटली दिस इज द एट एंड टेन प्लस एट टेन प्लस एट एटीन डेसीबल सो दैट इज द इंसिडेंट पावर इंसिडेंट पावर विदउट डायरेक्शनल कपलर एटीन डेसीबल टेन प्लस एट एटीन डेसीबल सो दिस इज फोर्ट वन इंसिडेंट पावर मीन फोर्ट वन पी वन नेक्स्ट रिमूव दिस डिटेक्टर मौंट सो कनेक्ट दिस डायरेक्शनल कपलर बिटवीन स्लॉटेड सेक्शन एंड डिटेक्टर मौंट ओके पोर्ट वन इज द इनपुट पोर्ट पोर्ट वन इज द इनपुट पोर्ट सो मेजर आउटपुट पवर एट पोर्ट टू एंड पोर्ट थ्री ओके दैट इज द फर्स्ट वन पोर्ट वन इज द इनपुट पोर्ट एंड पोर्ट टू पोर्ट थ्री एंड रिवर्स द वे गाइड कनेक्ट दिस पोर्ट टू एज द इनपुट मेजर पोर्ट वन आउटपुट एंड पोर्ट थ्री आउटपुट connect this direct uh, wave, uh, directional coupled wave wave component between slotted section and detector mount so port 1 is connected to the slotted section and port 1 is the input port and terminate the port 3 this is the port 3 so using the match load terminate this port 3 and connect detector mount at port 2 so measure output power at port 2 join the gap correct gap bravo gap bravo na 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 So measure the output power at port. How much? So this is like increases slightly, increases approximately nine. Approximately nine f. Okay. Approximately nine point two. So ten plus nine point two. So ten plus nine point two, nineteen point two. So port one is the input port. The output power at port three is. Nineteen point two decibel. Output power at port two is nineteen point two decibel. So this is port two transmitted port. Okay. Now reverse this one. So connect this detector mount here and uh, match load at port two. So this is crossed. More than ten dB. So now adjust this range value. Okay, twenty plus here. This is approximately six above six point one. So twenty plus approximately uh, twenty plus twenty six. So twenty plus six twenty six decibel. Okay, so port two is terminated, and at, at output port three, port three output is twenty six. So that is the first one. Okay. So now reverse this way, okay? Next connect the. Directional coupler wave component port is connected to the slotted section. So measure uh, port one output and port three output. So now where the port two is the input port. Port one is terminated. So what is the port one? This is the port one. So terminate the port one using match load. So measure the output at port three. as the output at
okay so this is more than n is cross so now adjust this range value So 50 plus 6, 6.2, 56.2. This one. And this is P3 and this is P4. Isolated power. And after that, calculate the insertion loss. So, what is the expression of the insertion loss? X minus Z. What is the X uh, incident power without directional coupler? 18 decibel minus Z. What is the Z? So, transmitted power. X is the incident power. Z is the transmitted power. So, Y suffix D. Y suffix D is the back power. That is 56.2 calculate these values using this expression.